Our life is incomplete without science and technology. These technologies have unquestionably made our life more easy going. So did you ever imagine if your phone drops accidentally and its screen does not shatter? Yes, it's going to be true in the near future. A team of researchers at the Hyderabad Central University have developed a flexible and optically transparent composite of polymeric material. We have developed a uh, smart materials uh, which is called graphene based PDMS uh, smart composite materials. This is very transparent so you can see that material is very transparent and it is can be light with in a 90% transparency it has. It has some electrical property so if you stretch like this or you squeeze then the dielectric constants or electrical conductivity or capacitance will vary. One of the challenges that Dr. Das and his team faced was that some of the electrical and mechanical properties such as electrical conductivity and dielectric constant and mechanical durability of polydimethylsiloxin were not compatible to their desired research objectives because PDMS is deficient in characteristics suitable for sensing materials and for other electronic devices. So uh, we are trying to improve the property of the polymer. Basically, PDMS is an insulating polymer, and but it is well known for its uh, good uh, bio, like uh, biocompatibility, good elasticity. It's a basically flexible and transparent polymer. But incorporating some kind of carbon material and conductive material, we can make it a very conductive uh, polymer uh, material. In order to improve the electrical conductivity and to overcome many other technical problems, Dr. Das and his team have developed a PDMS nano composite. They have developed this novel composite by incorporating the reduced graphene oxide RGO into PDMS matrix. It is necessary to mention here that graphene is an allotrope of carbon in the form of a single layer of atoms in a two-dimensional hexagonal lattice in which one atom forms each vortex. This material has the property of optical transparency, contour and flexibility and this will have a wide range of future application in electronic devices. Researchers have developed this transparent flexible composite material by embedding a reduced graphene oxide also known as RGO into PDMS, a silicon based organic polymer chemically known as polydimethyl siloxane. Once we achieved this uh, good quality graphene with good electrical properties, we can go for uh, miniaturized uh, electronics. If we made some uh, uh, electronic devices like amplifiers, oscillators in electronic uh, applications, those can be miniaturized. There was another major challenge in the preparation of PDMS graphene composite to find a balanced ratio of the graphene in the PDMS matrix so that the composite can retain its flexibility as well as the optical transparency. Polymers are materials made of long repeating chains of organic molecules. The materials have unique properties depending on the type of molecules being bonded and how they are bonded. Some polymers bend and stretch like rubber and polyester Others are hard and tough. The word polymer comes from the Greek prefix poly, which means many, and the suffix mer, which means parts. The word was coined by Swedish chemist John Jacob Berzelius in 1833, although with a slightly different meaning from the modern definition. The modern understanding of polymers as macromolecules was proposed by German organic chemist Hermann Stoddinger in 1920. When we look at the historical timeline of polymer, we find that Olmecs of Mexico were first to use this about 3,500 years ago when they used natural polymer of gum trees for making rubber ball. During the 19th and 20th centuries, Alexander Parks and Leo Baskinland used synthetic polymer and invented celluloid and bakelite, and that was one of the greatest inventions of that time. And eventually, day by day, the polymer became a necessary and inseparable part in our life. Polymers may be divided into two categories. Natural polymers include silk, rubber, cellulose, wool, amber, keratin, 
collagen, starch, DNA and shellac. Biopolymers serve key functions in organisms acting as structural proteins, functional proteins, nucleic acids, structural polysaccharides and energy storage molecules. Synthetic polymers are prepared by a chemical reaction often in a lab. Examples of synthetic polymers include PVC, polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, synthetic rubber, silicon, polyethylene, neoprene and nylon. Synthetic polymers are used to make plastics, adhesives, paints, mechanical parts and many other common objects. Polydimethylsiloxane is a kind of polymer which has a host of excellent properties like flexibility, thermal stability, biocompatibility, optical transparency, low cost and a high dielectric constant. We take the PDMS which is very biocompatible, easy to pattern and this is already commercial for contact lens and other technology, microfluidic devices. So good potential uh, flexible material is the PDMS due to the, its capability for the future technology. This is a major breakthrough in the field of graphene based polymer composites. It is very transparent so light can go very you can visible almost 88 percent of visibility is there this material on the top of this flat panel and we replace this glass material or the embedded glass which is made right now for this touch screen sensor in the top panel of this smartphone can be replaced with the material what we developed so in future not only on smartphone you can utilize the big one then can be a little bit optical properties tuned then can be utilized for flat panel display also TV screen, laptop screen, iPod screen can be replaced with this material. And also this material can be used for your, uh, this is transparent. So if you reduce the thickness, you can put in your skin, right? It will directly, some glucose sensor we embedded, right? It will give you the directly to give the data to your phones and give you what should be the glucose level. It can give you some orthopedic patient, those are having some problem in knee, it can give you constantly signals to their phone and some danger it can go directly to the hospital. Uh, Samsung, which is recently developed a, uh, this graphene based uh, some touch screen which is flexible. So mostly they are our competitor and they are utilizing different technology and we are applying different technology but application point of view both are working in the same field right. Some other groups are like Micron, Intel's group and MEMS those are also interested in this area right now uh, potential market for future technology. There are contemporary research works on various other polymer composites but the achievement of PDMS composite has a different edge. The material developed a uh, fast phase in our work which is non-transparent. This material which is mostly this kind of material is already published and developed and this is what we develop in our lab. So it is transparent, same time it is an electronic material. It is a non-transparent and it is also an electronic material. So this is what we develop and call this is a opto-electronic material, smart material which has good optical property and also good sensing property and electrical property. We take uh, this kind of powder material initially. So this is a expanded graphite. After incorporating in the PDMS, uh, we get this kind of solid samples. If we connect both ends of this material in this multimeter, we can see some resistance over there. This material can be used for sensing or some actuators. So different kind of application we can use this material based on the property of the embedded material that is of the graphene material in PDMS. So this is our work basically we focus on two area which is smart material for future technology electronic devices which is <coughs> non-breakable wearable can easily and second area is to how to or generate the light some electrical energy convert from waste heat energy. There is a lot of waste heat energy uh, in our tropical countries like India. So there 
uh, there is a lot of waste heat energy which can be converted into electricity uh, and through this thermoelectric materials so basically we are working with uh, bismar telluride uh, thermoelectric material a lot of energy sources available like uh, solar energy automobile energy for example our laptop also some heat e will produce then we will fix the te devices that heat will convert into the electrical energy no need battery so this is also new area which is recently developing because of energy crisis future energy crisis there are contemporary research works on various other polymer composites but the achievement of pdms composite has a different edge this research will definitely pave the way for further diversification and will open the door for its application in many different kinds of products as varied as sensors biomedical devices television computers and smartphones now people talk about the organic vegetable organic food and all this thing but how much uh, one can be sure that this is really organic product we cannot do anything we have to believe the people who is selling it or who is doing the this business so suppose we have uh, whatever the substrate we develop is suppose we can make a some portable device and that device suppose just can touch the surface of any vegetable which is called which is uh, demanded as a organic and suppose this we can do the uh, search uh, which actually technique which i use surface energy raman spectroscopy raman spectroscopy if you use that then this is easily detectable science gave birth to new technological developments and these developments have helped the human race in its progress every scientific invention whether big or small has a significant effect on our life this research done by dr das and his team is appreciable and their contribution will definitely make a change in our life